the most distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the first democratically elected governor of Kaduna State under this democratic dispensation. In fact, all of us that ran election in 98, Whenever we link up, we call ourselves Team 98. <laughs> the most senior member of Team 98 is Excellency Senator Ahmed Makalfi. Let me say that we are delighted to be received in your home today. When I was coming to Kaduna, each time I look round, more particularly as I look towards where I am going. The first thing I do is to identify the people I know there. In fact, at times where I get to some places, I will say I should be introduced from somebody from there, not somebody who had come with me. I can say, looking to Kaduna, that I'm coming to Kaduna today, my greatest privilege is to meet the father of democracy in Kaduna. Excellency uh, Alaji Yaro Makama is uh, a man whenever I hate Kaduna and I have not seen him, I don't feel complete because uh, Kaduna stands out for many reasons. When we were in government in 99, he was the coordinator, the leader of all the party chairmen in the north and a very influential chairman. I am happy that today the chairman of Kaduna State PDP is the chairman of all chairmen in the, in the nation. That is what you have deputed to the party in Kaduna. <laughs> my friend and my brother, uh, distinguished senator Zigo Aziz, is at times I tell people that whenever I look at Nigeria, I find home more in the north than in the south. I've lived in Abuja for 33 years. Mm -hmm. And within those 33 years, I can say that much of my strength is found in the north. When we were in the Senate, Senator Aziz was my brother. Mr. Senator. Thank you, sir. And I'm talking about 20 something years ago, and this relationship is still as strong as it is today. We have lost some uh, of our colleagues in the Senate then, and one of which is. Uh, uh, our dear friend uh, Bella? No. Uh, Senator Arwa. Arwa. Oh, Arwa. 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 May his soul rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. My leader, we have come to Kaduna. I know it's become ritualistic for many aspirants, about 15 of us, to stop by to tell you that they're in Kaduna to converse for votes. The one thing good about this visit and the you I know is that you are thorough, you are not misled, yeah. you are not deceived, and when there is a crisis, whenever there is a challenge, you always been brought in to resolve it. Yeah. Under President of Asanjo's government, when things get tough, they pull you in. You provide the mental work, the mental backup to resolve each situation. And our party, PDP, when it was in crisis at the peak of it, you were brought in and you stabilized it. If there is anything that attracts me to you, is what we share in common. That stabilizing strength. That stabilizing strength. I will not, I will not converse for support from you. I will rather converse that please stabilize our party to do the right thing. We are getting to a point in our party where we will look sideways, look forward, and there is no platform that could moderate the party. This is the time it matters most. For men of great conscience, for men of great wisdom, for men of conviction to stand up, to direct our party, midwife our party, refocus it to do the proper thing. This is my greatest demand on you. For every reason, don't ever imagine that we are going to bring an angel from heaven 
to come and uh, uh, put us in shape. We have no other rallying figure. It's only men of strength of character, men of great conscience, and men of capacity and competence like you, with deep experience of the party in Nigeria, that can lead our party to the promised land. This is my demand. This is my request. I am delighted to be here, and I know that once you stabilize the party to do the right thing, that good conscience will prevail and that will emerge. Thank you. <laughs>